Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here, man. I got that in my career for y'all. I know, man. I've been holding it off. I've been putting it on the back burner. But check it out, man. I got a nice little interview on 2K TV today. Hey, everybody, tweet Rad on Twitter and tell her get the King on the show, man. In person, man. Fly me out, put me on the show, and let me do what I do, man. I'm an interview genius out here. But check it out, man. It's about to be a nice little interview between me and her. As well as the gameplay that you guys are going to see after the interview is going to be from New Year's Day. So I need y'all to turn up. It's all about me and my click. You feel me? Let's get into this crazy interview, man. Twin, are you serious right now? What? Get yourself together. Look, sit up straight. <sighs> look alive. Yes. This is your first 2K interview. You got to kill it. Okay. All right. Let's all right. Get it. Mm, mm, mm. Swish. <laughs> I like that. That was a that was a cool little handshake. Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, are we ready? You ready to roll? Yes. Cool. Hey guys, I'm Rachel, and I'm here with Freak today, one of the NBA's newest stars. Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> of course. Thank you for having me. You have been doing amazing this season. How does it feel to be one of the most talked about young NBA players? Uh, it's great. You know, I've been working really hard on my game. So to see the team getting wins and, you know, they're talking about me, it feels good. I want to keep the ball rolling. And we all know that your game on the court has been spectacular. Thank you. And I've heard that you're pretty good in NBA 2K also. Uh, somebody told you right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We bring the system on the road. Uh, we play in the hotel rooms. It could get pretty competitive. So who's the best on the team then in 2K? Me, of course, by far. But there are a couple of guys that give me some tough games, but the only person that ever really beat me in the game was my best friend, Vic. Rest in power, Vic. Uh, but that was because he played every single day of his life. So that was the only reason. So pretty heated matches between yeah. you guys. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like to see your virtual self in the game for the first time? I loved it. Um, I grew up playing 2K. So to see myself in the game made me feel like I made it. You know, I've always wanted to be on a cover of 2K, like KD, Kobe, or MJ. So I'm just working for that, hopefully. Well, hey, if you keep playing the way that you are, you might be on our cover one day. Maybe. I, that, that would be an honor. <laughs> I would love that. Well, keep it up. Keep working hard. Good luck for the rest of the season. And thank you again for coming on 2K TV. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And you know how we end these interviews. High fives. High fives. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Earlier, we sat down with Freak and asked him about what the fans mean to him. They mean everything, you know? I think I just reached one million fans on social media, and each one of them fuels me to be a better player and a better person. So to all the FOFs out there, friends of Freak, I just want to say thank you for your support. So we balling in a nice little two-tone jerseys tonight, y'all, from the 65-66 season. Yeah, man, I've been advancing in my career, man. You guys should already know that I've been able to choose jerseys. I think in one of my last videos I had on red uh, alternate jerseys. So, yeah, man, we doing our thing. But what y'all didn't know is your boy is balling now, man. I'm playing on Hall of Fame comfortably, comfortably, like... Y'all don't understand how long it's taking me to get better at this game and keep my level raised as well as getting badges and raising my overall with attributes and bars and, you know, all that jazz. But check it out. We on a fast break. You hit me in the corner. And what you guys will notice is that corner specialist will be activated. That's right, man. Corner Specialist is all it's about right now. I'm working on Limitless Range, and I'm working on Deadeye. They are the two hardest badges to get. I know a lot of people will say, hey, man, why don't you just play on Rookie Casual and go ahead and get your badges? 
Nah, man, it's deeper than that, man. It's deeper than that. When I play this game, I want to feel like I'm actually playing a game that not so much makes me struggle, but gives me a challenge. So right here, I go ahead and pop over to the side. I'm still open. I got that nice little Kevin Martin jump shot. Shout out to Chase Money for that jump shot. Doing a freak right now. So basically, um, we was playing Pro-Am, and Chase was like, yo, you got to get the Kevin Martin. It's love when you're playing online at Pro-Am because it's quick, and you can kind of get a feel for it. So I've been using that jump shot on Pro-Am only. Um, the jump shot that I've been using at the park is, I believe, uh, Rudy Gay. And the jump shot that I mainly use offline is jump shot eight. But did y'all see me rise? Check out the Kia Slam cam. Your boy is putting a ball at his toes. Come on, man. Your boy is doing this thing out here. But they bring it back in the single digits. I know you guys are probably thinking like, yo, you was up crazy. But nah, man, you can't count the computer out. But did you guys see me go baseline right there? Yo, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, I know ways to get around this computer. And that way right there is one of the ways. When you're running down court, just act like you're about to run into them and create that collision. And just move on to the side, man. Get right past the defense every single time. But I'm at the free throw line, hitting my shots, not getting no perfect releases. I don't listen. I'm gonna just let y'all know this now. You're not gonna be seeing a bunch of perfect releases in my gameplay, man. I'm not playing on a difficulty that allows me to get perfect release every time. But you best believe some of my shots is gonna go in. But did y'all check the dime right there? Your boys putting these points on the board, getting these assists and gaining fans at the same damn time. I'm doing my thing, but one thing that I will say I'm very good at is playing off-ball defense as well as getting the steal in the passing lanes, yo. I really feel like the new AI of the Sixers, man. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I know that it's basically like reading a computer and the computer kind of can be read easily because they kind of do some of the same things all game long. But I'm just trying to tell you, man, it makes for better gameplay and it actually helps turn the tide when you're down. You know, some of these games, I'll be down like 10 to 15 and, you know, I just I just sit back. I just say, you know what, I'm going to work on my defense and I sit there and play the passing lanes. And next thing you know, I bridge the gap. I come within 10. I come within 5. And then in the five-point swing, we tie it up. And then I just, you know, either I go on a seesaw, we fight through it, and hopefully I can win by a slim margin, or we gain a good lead, and we up by like five to ten, and then, you know, I can sim out. But uh, what I will tell you guys is this is the last play of the game for me because I was being too overzealous trying to get that brick wall badge, and I accidentally fouled out. A lot of these games I foul out intentionally or I foul out due to, you know, setting screens and not stopping and setting my feet. So, you know, it's all good, man. I do average probably about three to four fouls per game as well as, like, three to four turnovers. That's not as bad as I've seen some people's game plays, but it's okay, man. But your boy is about to end this game. About to take off this nice classical jersey. We might wear it again. Um, If you want us to wear this jersey again in another gameplay, let me know inside the comment section below. And then, you know, I'll equip it in a few more games that I do record. Um, And also, let me know how you guys are liking the Agent 47 number. I cannot get number 15 because the number is not available in the choice list. I'm guessing any retired number this year, 2K did not allow you to get. As well as check out the difficulty modifier. Your boy is playing on that Hall of Fame. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you all enjoyed the interview. And don't for forget to leave that comment. Peace. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey y'all, Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back for the presentation of our Jordan Player of the Game. Freak, just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great game. Well, getting up over the 30-point barrier is never easy under any circumstances. He tore holes in the defense. They couldn't figure out what to do with him. Every play they ran for him, he executed it nearly perfectly. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.
year. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe.